Sunday, April 11th, and our top news story. A storm system is set to impact Newfoundland today and tonight. In central Newfoundland, snowfall amounts of 15 centimeters is possible by Tuesday morning. Additionally, winds will gust to 80 kilometers per hour. For portions of the northeast coast, gusts to 100 are expected this evening. For the Avalon Peninsula, 5 centimeters of snow is expected tonight. The south coast and west coast will not see much in the way of precipitation. There were several school closures in central Newfoundland this morning, and Marine Atlantic says that crossings for today could be delayed. In other news, on Sunday afternoon, the RNC responded to a restaurant in the Center City area of St. John's for a report of an unwelcome person at the location. The 25-year-old female was arrested and charged with causing a disturbance, uttering threats, three counts of assault, mischief, and failure to comply with a release order. The accused was held to appear in court. And finally, at about 6.30 p.m. on Sunday evening, many residents in eastern Newfoundland heard a loud bang. The bang was heard in the metro area and Conception Bay North. There was no lightning detected in the area at the time, but many people flocked to social media reporting a rattling and loud bang lasting about 10 seconds. At the same time, the bang was detected on the seismogram for St. John's by Natural Resources Canada, but no earthquake has been confirmed. Your weather forecast is coming up right after this. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet, connect to what matters. right now to take a look at your weather forecast. There are a couple of weather alerts in effect. Uh, there's uh, wind warnings in effect for uh, the Bonavista Peninsula, uh, Bonavista North, and the Bay of Exploits, and a special weather statement for uh, most areas of central Newfoundland because, of course, we do have uh, some wind and some snow moving through the area, as we mentioned in the news segment. So the forecast overnight tonight in St. John's, we are looking at about five centimeters of snow and we'll see some gusty winds, some blowing snow, certainly a possibility. And a similar story in central tonight, five centimeters of snow and windy conditions. And we are looking at a chance of flurries for Corner Brook. Uh, the forecast now for tomorrow will start out in Labrador. Uh, for both Maine and Happy Valley Goose Bay, we are looking at a chance of flurries for both areas. And uh, in western Labrador, we are looking at some flurries as we head through your Tuesday. And then for Newfoundland tomorrow, we are looking at a mix of sun and cloud back across the west coast, but uh, windy conditions expected on the northern peninsula. Sun and cloud for the south coast as well, and there is a, we are going to see, I should say, some morning flurries for central and for the Avalon with some windy conditions. So for St. John's tomorrow, waking up, we are going to see some flurries. The winds will be northwesterly, gusting to 70. Um, as we head through Wednesday, we are looking at a chance of flurries or rain showers of plus 3 and a chance of flurries for Thursday and zero. In Gander tomorrow, northwesterly winds gusting to 60 with some morning flurries. And then for Wednesday, flurries and plus one, plus three on Thursday with a chance of flurries or rain showers. And in Cornerbrook tomorrow, sun and cloud and plus one. And then for Wednesday, a chance of flurries or rain showers and three. Thursday, sun and cloud and high near five. That is the latest news on weather forecast to now.